Hello. I'm doing this video because I feel like this is something I have to do as soon as I'm done shining this green laser into your eyes. Let me, let me fix this thing. There we go. I don't know. I'm doing my best here. I picked up a couple records last week and I felt like not only do I need to show these, but I need to talk about these given the subject matter of my channel for the past four plus years now. I just felt like it was required. How can I not talk about these releases knowing that I've talked about all the other stuff regarding ministry in Al Jorgensen? And I was really happy with these releases. I wasn't expecting a lot. Like as, uh, as many of you, as you know, sorry about the lighting here, by the way, I live in the Northwest and it, it will piss down rain one second. And then the sun will beam down in your face for five seconds. And then the sun will go away for like five years. And then it will pop back up and show its head for like 10 more seconds. And then it will go away for another 20 years. And I mean, that's just part of living in the Northwest. But anyway, that's what's going on in front of me right now through my window that you can't see. So if the lighting gets really intense and then it goes away, the, the police aren't here shining spotlights through my window. It's the, it's the sun. I, trust me, it's the sun. I'm not expecting any, uh, any visits from the police, but keeping my fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get to ministry. I bought a couple of ministry records last week, and I have to say these are fantastic releases. I'm really excited about these, and I wanted to share the greatness that is this. These two. You ministry fans, you should pick these up. If you buy records, you should absolutely pick these up. I'm going to make the ballsy statement that these recent reissues from Rhino are the definitive editions on vinyl that you want to get out of all of the versions. And I know, obviously, there was this original vinyl version, and then there are the European versions, and then they've reissued these a couple of different times, maybe several times. I don't know. I only have the original issues of these, and I've balked at getting any of the other editions. But these two new reissues on Rhino are absolutely worth it. In fact, I would argue they're better than the original versions. That's how strongly I feel about these. And those of you who know me and my channel, you know that I don't like reissues. I don't normally buy them. I don't normally even bother listening to them in any way, shape, or form. But I can get behind these. These are excellent and restoring my faith in the reissue market. Rhino. Mwah. Well done. These, have, these are extremely well done, in fact. I would recommend these to anybody, especially to ministry fans. You need to pick these up. And also, it's their two best albums. In my humble opinion, these are the two best ministry albums of all time. Rape and Honey and Twitch. These are the ones you want. If you only have two ministry records, in my opinion, these are the only two you need. I'm not saying I don't like other ministry albums. You know that I do. But if I had to pick two, these are the two you need. And let's start with the one that came out first, Twitch. This fucker's been out for almost 40 years. It's kind of hard to believe that. This was my intro to ministry, I think, more or less. When I dig deep into my memory banks, this was the first ministry album I ever heard. It was Twitch. This was my intro to them back in the mid-late 80s. In fact, yeah, I was probably 86 or 87 when I first heard ministry and I first heard Twitch. And this was my intro to the whole world of Al Jorgensen. This is an excellent reissue, man. Rhino knocked it out of the fucking park with this. The, the recreation of the sleeve is cool. It's got an insert inside. It's two records. They spread both of these releases. They spread the album out across the first three sides of vinyl. And then on side four, they take the 12-inch material that was released from the album on that particular label, which was Sire, and they put it on side four. And it sounds excellent. The pressing is excellent. There's not a damn thing wrong with the sound quality here. 
And that is a rarity when it comes to getting reissues, as you know. Especially Rhino. Rhino does not have a spotless record when it comes to vinyl presses, in my opinion. They've put out some real dreck. But in recent years, man, they've really been doing a nice job. They seem to have learned from their past mistakes, and they are crushing it. With these, at least. And I've bought a couple of other. I bought a, a Talking Heads reissue a year or so ago, that Stop Making Sense live album, which was really good, I thought. This is even better, these two reissues of Ministry. They take the album again, and they put it on the first three sides. And you can see that here. And something that Rhino is guilty of in the past, and not on here, thank Christ, is when they did a reissue, they would compress all the songs into a very tight, compacted area rather than stretching it out, you know, throughout the entire side of vinyl, creating compression problems and problems, you know. They, they just haven't had a good track record of figuring out basic vinyl pressing 101. They don't always do a good job. They did a great job here. All sides, they're using the entire side of the vinyl to expand these tracks. It sounds fantastic, man. Great pressing. Music sounds fantastic. On, this, on the hype sticker here, it says, Limited Edition Ministry includes original album recut from master tapes. You know, to my ears... That seems to be true. It's, it's a nice old school analog sound going on here. Plus bonus rare out of print 12 inch mixes. They're not rare. You can go buy the 12 inch anywhere. And then includes over the shoulder, we believe, just like you. But it, when it says recut from the master tapes, it, it's, it seems to, yeah, it has that nice old school warm analog sound to it, which is what records need. And you can see you get the bonus tracks or basically the 12 inch version of over the shoulder and then Isle of man version two. That's essentially just the 12 inch, the original sire 12 inch, the 12 inch version of over the shoulder really isn't that different than the album version. It's got like an extended intro of a couple of minutes of just sounds and edits and things like that. Not necessarily a remix. It's just an extended version of the album version. But you get it here. Uh, the really cool thing I love, too, is where you at now, this trio of tracks here, that one long song, it's all got its own side. It's all on side three, and it's expanded throughout the whole, the whole side. And I'll show you. I'll show you the vinyl here, show you what I'm talking about. They, they put these records in these polyline inner sleeves. Rhino, yes. Yes. Yes, this is what you need to do. And Rhino has done this in recent years. I'm not saying they haven't done this, but reissue labels, record companies, stop fucking around and do this. Put it in a poly sleeve. This is how you preserve vinyl. Record buyers care about these things. You might not care about it because you might save two cents to the, to the dollar to give us those cheap-ass paper inner sleeves, but don't do that. Buyers don't want that. So here is side three, for example, where are you at now? You see how they press this? They let it breathe, man. They let it extend across the side, and it sounds good, man. It sounds good. This is the best sounding vinyl press I've heard. This is better than the original press on Sire, I think. It sounds better. And here's that last side. You get over the shoulder and aisle, man. That's what the whole album's like. They let it breathe. They give it its space. They give it room to expand and live and breathe as its own little entity. And man, they did a really nice job. Something else that's really cool about these presses too, you get a little insert. They're recreating the, the inner sleeve basically here. You get the new track listing sequencing there, as you can see. And on both of these albums, you get... An extended write-up from Jason Pettigrew, which is really cool. I He used to be the editor of Alternative Press. And he basically would write every article about Jason Pettigrew, or about Ministry. He would go on tour with Ministry. 
But he knew Al. He was part of the gang almost. Every time Alternative Press was big on ministry in the 80s. They covered them a lot. Those of you who followed Al and ministry, you probably remember reading a lot of Alternative Press articles. And if you didn't, I don't know where you were or what you were doing, but Alternative Press was just kind of there. And Jason Pettigrew was there. He was on tour. He was with Al. He was like part of the gang. Al let him into the inner circle. So he knows a lot about the group. He wrote a ton about them in Alternative Press. And he does the write-up on both of these inserts, on these reissues. Rhino, if anybody from Rhino would ever watch this, thank you. You did a fucking fantastic job with these reissues. I'm very happy. Happier than I thought I would be. I pulled the trigger and bought these, and they weren't cheap. These were like 40 bucks a piece, so they weren't exactly cheap, but worth it. I'm happy to say these are worth it. These are two of my favorite albums, and God, some of the best reissues I've ever purchased. Rhino, nice work, man. Keep it up. And can we get the same treatment for the mind as a terrible thing to taste? Please. Spread the record out to three sides, the original album to the first three sides, and put Dream Song on there because Dream Song was only on the cassette and CD versions. Put Dream Song on the vinyl, and I'm going to get to why that's important with Land of Raven Honey. Put Dream Song on there, and then on side four, put the Burning Inside 12 inch on there. Put, you know, the Burning Inside remix it's basically a, a version like over the shoulder it's not really a remix it just has this extended intro to it but that's roughly seven minutes and then the extended version of thieves is like five and a half and then their cover of smothered hope is like five minutes you've got under 20 minutes of music there put the burning inside 12 inch on side four again the full version on the first three sides, including Dream Song, and then put Burning Inside on side four. Rhino, do it. You know it's the right thing to do. This is what your fans want. Do it. And do it exactly what you, the way you did it here. Put an insert in there with some Jason Pettigrew words and verbiage on there. Put the, the polyline inner sleeves in there and give it to us. We will buy it. Will we not buy it, people? Of course we'll buy it. Now, their greatest album. Al Jorgensen's greatest achievement right here, Land of Rape and Honey. Is that my opinion? Yes. Sometimes I feel like my opinion is the, the, the sole word of truth, and this is a good instance of that. I think Land of Rape and Honey is Al Jorgensen at his very, very peak. This is the best. Land of Rape and Honey, man. And my God, what a great pressing. They put the full version on here, the digital version. So you get Hezbollah and I Believe on here. Now, I always thought, here's, here's the insert, by the way, with the Jason Pettigrew write-up. You get Al looking all intense. You get Paul Barker looking borderline invisible. But you get the Jason Pettigrew write-up on the insert here. And you get the polyline inner sleeves on the wax. The best part of Land of Rape and Honey is on side four, just like on Twitch, you get the Stigmata 12-inch. And look how they pressed it. You see that? Almost all the way to the center label. You get the extended version of Stigmata, and you get Tonight We Murder, one of the most wonderful hidden gems of the entire ministry catalog. Tonight We Murder. Absolutely could have been on the album, should have been on the album, but because Al Jorgensen cares about quality control and he wants to give people the best bang for their buck, he put Tonight We Murder as a B-side. Arguably the best track of this whole album is Tonight We Murder. But he was like, no. No, 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 no. I'm going to put that on the B-side because I care about my fans. I want them to have quality. And I've talked about this in previous ministry videos. One of the things I love most about Al Jorgensen is how prolific he was, but how high his standards also were. When you're prolific, you put out a lot of shit. It just kind of comes hand in hand. Not Al Jorgensen. No, 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 no. He was prolific, but he also gave you quality. You know, he made sure that you, when, you, when you laid your money down, you were getting the best product he could possibly give you. And he always did that. And Rhino 
has done a fantastic job of giving you, you the best bang for your buck. I mean, it's 40 bucks. Okay, you can, you can figure out if an album that's 30, what, 36 years old is worth that. If you already own this, which you probably do, is it worth 40 bucks to you? It is to me because of Tonight We Murder and Stigmata 12 inch version. You also, again, you get Hezbollah. Oh, and I prefer. Did I say I believe? Sorry. I prefer. Now, I pref by the way, these two tracks were only on the CD. Were they on the tape? I don't remember. I never saw the tape. I do remember seeing them on the CD. See, the only way to get these were buying the CD. They were not on the vinyl. And still aren't and never will be on the original press. They are here, though. And they sound good. And this hype sticker says the same thing as the other thing. It's mastered from... Uh, Original album recut from master tapes. Now, whether or not those two tracks are, I don't know. When I was listening to them, I can't tell a difference. I mean, I don't know. I think Hezbollah is a great song and it had a place on here. I prefer has never been my favorite. It's okay. It's just a really short B-side kind of level track. It doesn't really fit with this. I could kind of see why Al didn't want it on here. It doesn't really flow with the rest of the album. I think Hezbollah does, though. I think that's a very interesting track, but it doesn't matter. We get them both here. You can do whatever the fuck you want with them. You get the whole album. You get I Prefer, Hezbollah, and the Stigmata remix, and Tonight We Murder. All here. Recut and sounding awesome. These sound amazing. Ministry fans, if you don't have these, these I highly recommend you pick these up. If you've watched my other ministry videos, you know I don't fuck around with Al Jorgensen. You know I love this guy. You know I have a mad passion for his music, and I have for almost 40 years. Can't recommend these enough. Some of the best reissues I've ever purchased. Land of Raven, honey. And Twitch. Go check these out. Revisit. I think they're worth it. You can make up your own mind if you want to drop 40 bucks a piece for these. But I think they're worth it every step of the way. Until next time. Later.